for you who don't know me, and I think um, Joe is new. And anyway, um, I lost my son 2003 on a crosswalk in Gresham. In listening today, you know, it's really tough when you've spent 10 years to try to make TriMet better and help educate TriMet and the people. And it's even tougher to think that when I passed the law in 2007, and in 2008, the board didn't know. In 2009, they started doing the safety measures because they had to go back to all these crosswalks. And we're still in 2013, and we're still working on them. And so now we're over 2007 to that five years. I mean, it's tough for me because I do live in Gresham. And the part that's ha even harder is in 1999 when they did the safety study, he's saying 25 years, when they did the safety study, these were all a part of them. And this is a long time. Where my son got killed, they'd hit somebody else. Some of these places, they've hit 15 people. I mean, I think you need to have, like this, we can't sit and talk long enough today to make the big picture that's out there. And these that we're showing today, I'm just wondering when were these pictures done? Were they done when I did the safety study, passed a law in 2009, and now we're just getting to them? Um, so that part's tough, but we can make it safer quicker, I think. I mean, I just, it's like you asked the question of how or what are we going to do now until 2014 for those possessorians. Well, I'll tell you what you do. Put it on the driver. They're the professional. They see the po pedestrians. If the pedestrian doesn't have a gate and they're going to cross a crosswalk, the driver needs to be prepared to stop. in the Portland area in the last week alone. So tonight officials are reminding riders to be aware, alert, and avoid distractions. Fox 12's Jamie Wilson reports from Beaverton, where the most recent accident happened. On Monday morning, Andrea Lang was right here at the Elmonica station when she accidentally walked in front of a MAX train and her leg was severed. TriMet officials say Andrea was distracted like too many other people are every single day. They are nail-biting images, but ones that TriMet wants you to see. Near misses along Max Track. This woman almost. walking right in front of an oncoming train, a man in a wheelchair barely making it across, and this woman forced to run when she finally sees Yeah. Sooner or later, the people in this country are going to realize the government does not give a fuck about them. Government doesn't care about you or your children or your rights or your welfare or your safety. It simply doesn't give a fuck about you. It's interested in its own power. That's the only thing, keeping it and expanding it wherever possible.